What's going on guys? I'm just going to make a quick little video for you. This is going to be a video on the offline installer for a molecular shell. Now what this enables you to be able to do is basically install the molecular shell patch of Henkaku on 360 official firmware and you don't have to connect to the internet to install it. I believe it creates a save state in your email files as a draft and you install it that way. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Vita shell here on my Vita and get my USB connection going here. Uh, so first and foremost, just plug your USB into your uh, computer and plug it into your Vita. And uh, first thing you need is molecular shell or Vita shell installed. I will have links to both videos down below. The molecular shell is what you want to install uh, in order to enable the homebrew environment and be able to create an FTP server. Um, so that you can have a file client from your laptop to your uh, PS Vita system so that way you can install the VPK file for the Vita shell and utilize the USB connections. So the video below, so that way you guys can get that video and install it if you're running 360 official firmware. If you're above 360, if you're on 361 or 363, unfortunately you're going to have to use one of these save game exploits uh, because there's no support for molecular shell at this time. So what I'm doing right now is I'm starting up my Vita shell and uh, activating my USB connection and your files should pop up like so. So, uh, let's see here. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, USB E drive. Huh, it didn't come up automatically, but okay. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download the file. Also, this is gonna be at the top of the description in the video. Uh, so uh, just open up that description down there. There will also be a detailed step-by-step -step process on how to install this, but this would be the link uh, of the file. I will have it labeled as the uh, offline installer, and I will have the link posted below. So just click on that link, and it will download automatically. There's no, it will, it will probably open up another tab, but it will just download. There will be no ping or clicking involved, so it will be a direct link download. And what you're going to do is just drag and copy this over to the root of stop that every single time it, just drag this over to the root of the UX 0 which is the uh, root of your memory stick on your PS Vita and I've already done this so I'm not going to copy it over but just for uh, ha -ha uh we are on the UX 0 root and I will show that in the Vita show later on uh, in this video actually momentarily in about 30 seconds so once you've copied over your official on uh, your offline installer VPK which is this file right here we're just going to go to the PS Vita all right, so here we are at the Vita. I'm still connected to my USB mode. As you can see, uh, I'm just going to hit circle here real quick and uh, just go back to my UX0 root, which is right here. If you're using an FTP client uh, to do this, you're going to be looking at these folders. When you hook up to your FTP, you're going to select that UX0, and that will bring you to your memory card. And if you scroll down, now that we're on the root of the memory card, the PS Vita system, you will scroll down until you see the offline installer VPK. Hit X on the offline installer VPK and then hit EX to install. It's going to ask for a confirmation and then install by hitting X. Once that is done, you can exit your Vita shell, which I've already installed this file. And we're just going to see this little uh, Wi-Fi logo with a cross going through it and labeled offline installer. So click on that and then all you're going to do is hit start. Now. Uh, offline installer this application will install offline version of Henkaku exploit into the email app back up all your email data uh, which you have uh, in your UX0 uh, email slash directory uh, which the directory just stands for that actual directory so you're just gonna back up all that stuff and then just hit X to install the exploit it's gonna install the exploit to your email application and then Henkaku Offline was installed as a success. And then just press any key to exit the application. So I'll just hit X right here. And we're going to scroll that out here. And we're just going to go up to our email. Bum, bum, bum. So we'll open that up. And we're going to hit start. Now once you start your... Um, whatchamacallit, your... Uh, email you're just going to open up your inbox and you're going to see the Henkaku offline installer so for ha house what i'm going to do is i'm just going to completely reboot the ps vita system 
I'm going to power this off. And then once we reboot, I'm going to use this offline installer, not connecting to the internet, obviously. Disconnect my USB here. Hold down the power button for three seconds, and then we will boot up. So there's the Sony logo there. <clears throat> Warning, we never read this. All right, and loading up right now. All right, so what we're going to do now is after this game it data loads, uh, I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to go attempt to use my Vita shell and hit start. And it's going to give me that error. So we are not running the Henkaku exploit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my email, open my email up, hit start. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, I'm going to go to my settings and disconnect my Wi-Fi. That's what I'm going to do. So that way I can show you that uh, we're not... Uh, doing anything here so bum, 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 bum. there Wi-Fi is now off so close that out and just to be sure that I'm not running any Wi-Fi I will also open up my uh, web browser here and uh, we'll try loading the first page which is the actual uh, molecular shell exploit and as you can see there is no Wi-Fi so So we have no Wi-Fi, so let's go to our mail and try out this offline installer. Hitting start. Inbox. Offline installer. No. There we go. And then just click on one of those embeddeds and it will take some time, but it will do it. Now, if we go to my Vita shell here and hit start, I can now successfully run my Vita shell. So that's how you install the offline installer. And now I'm just gonna go and turn my Wi-Fi back on. So, hope you guys find this useful. Uh, this is actually pretty useful. Like say you're out on the go and uh, <clears throat> you have to reboot or something and there's no network connection near you uh, It's actually fairly useful. So uh, and you don't have to worry about uh, the failing Part of because like if you're trying to load a molecular shell, sometimes it just actually fails um, And uh, you have to keep on trying to do it. So uh, this also helps with that aspect as well. So rate, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy your offline installer. And uh, you can actually go ahead and delete this package if you want uh, because it's safe to your email. But if you ever swap out your memory stick, make sure you reinstall this after using Molecular Shell. And that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later and enjoy.